Hey everyone, Dossif here with First Updates Now, here with 1796 Robo Tigers here in the Hopper Division. Today with me I have Makai, Lindsay, and Jeffrey. They'll be talking about their really amazing robot where their indexer system, their intake, and their arm mechanism which rotates as well. And these, this team was the impact winner for the Long Island 2 Regional as well as the winners of the New York Tech Valley and the New York City Regional. So let's get on to the robot here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your educational robotics needs. From mechanical, electrical, tools, and hardware, Animark has over 200 years of first-team experience and offers high-quality and affordable solutions for the robotics mobility and competition markets. Head on over to Animark.com to get started. All right, Makai, let's start with you. Talk about your intake system and your indexer and how the game pieces flow. Is it meant for two game pieces or just you use you one? Right. So the initial de design process for our intake mechanism was that it was actually made to intake both cones and cubes. However, once we got to our first event, we came to the realization that we can easily intake both game pieces. However, we cannot effectively store our both game pieces in our indexing system. So we adapted to that. We overcame that and we decided that the best route for us to take on this intake is for us to actually only intake cubes. So the way that it actually works is that it's actuated by two motors, one on each side with a versa planetary reduction. And then once the motor actuates, it comes down like so. And then we have another motor located on the top of the intake that actually actuates the whole thing through belts. So we come down, our motors will spin, and then we can seamlessly run into a cube and the intake will just take it. One cool thing about the actual intake itself is that once a cube gets to a certain point, it will actually come and pass a beam brake sensor located right here. And then once it's passed, we have two pneumatic pistons located on the far left and far right of the intake itself. And they will actually close in and help force the cube into the actual intake. So it's sort of like a push effect. Is it possible that we can demonstrate that with your cube? Now talk about that process. It just gets right in and then your arm picks it up? So once we get past the intake, we actually have an indexing system that allows us to get from the intake to the arm. So it's basically just a pulley system. We have a earlier version right here. It uses polycord and belts as well as a few wheels located on the front of it to actually be able to basically transfer the cube from the intake to our indexing system, have it pass through until it comes into our scoring delivery on the arm, and then it's basically in our arm ready to go. All right, now that's a good transition to the, your arm mechanism. Lindsay, talk about your arm and how exactly you guys are talking about a absolute coder system that you have to get the gear ratio for your arm. Talk about your rotation and your extension for your arm and stuff like that. Yeah, so the encoder, our programmer can talk all about it when it's his turn. Um, so our arm is a three-stage telescoping cascade arm. And as you can see here, we have three gearboxes on here that are all custom made. Um, we have one for extending the arm, one for pivoting at the center of the arm, and then at the far bottom, we have one for the wrist for the scoring delivery. Uh, all three of these gearboxes were custom made because we couldn't find any that really fit um, our design, so we just made them ourselves. And here we have uh, our blocks that we have, and these were uh, hercold, and the bottom one has, is, they're two sandwiched together, and at the top we have a pulley and that's what the ropes run on. And the ropes have two ways, two runs on our robot. And then the way we tension them is at the bottom here. We just wrap it around a spool and wrap it around a bowl and secure it. At the top here, we have two ratchet systems. Uh, they were 3D printed. And the way that they work is that <laughs> we have a 3D printed part and it has space for a ratchet to go in so that way we have to take this out and we put it in and so it, when we turn it one way it doesn't slip and it doesn't move so that way our rope is tensioned and then here we have an energy chain that helps us run our wires through our robot 
and then it's controlled by this spring and bearing motion. So for our scoring delivery, we have carbon fiber rods over here and two linear bearings, and they help the pneumatics move in and out. And over here we have our gripper system that holds our cubes and our cones. And originally in the beginning, um, we had problems with this because we have a 3D printed part over here. And originally we only had this and some grippy tape, but as the season progressed, we added these um, polycarp pieces and it helps grip the, the pieces a lot better. And one of the game changers for us that we had was this um, sensor over here that when, you, when uh, we go and pick up the cone, it just automatically closes it and has a good grip on it. I saw that this rotates a little. Was that intentional or to probably have the, the cone just perfectly parallel to the ground or is that? So we got we got the cones from the scoring delivery and so it, it rotates a little bit. It doesn't, it, it's just like a gravity. So it's not passive? It's not, it's, it's just gravity holding okay. onto it. Right. And then so it just wraps around the cube nicely and it okay. doesn't slip. Can you show us your extension of your arm and your your levels that you have for each node? Yeah, uh, Jeffrey can demonstrate. Yeah. So firstly, for our arm, we have three different positions that we have set up for it. So for scoring, firstly, we have the low position, which would be this position right over here. And then next up, we have the mid position, which would be this right over here. And then lastly, we have the high position, which would be that right over here. So in order for us to get these positions, what we decided to do is that we create some custom gears so that we could put a can coder here to calculate the absolute position. So we decided to 3D print it here so that we wouldn't have to put a, a can coder right over onto this thing. We decided that it would be really too hard to put it onto here so we created this so it will be placed there. In addition to that, another custom thing that we have inside of a robot is this white light light that's right over here. What this allows us to do is that it allows us to detect which game piece is inside the robot and what its position is. So if you want to go back to home, we could demonstrate it through intaking. Yep. Yep. So as, so as you can see, the arm closed whenever the, cube, whenever the limelight detected that the cube was inside the robot. So what we decided to do is that we have, um, we create a custom pipeline for the limelight and we're able to determine where the cube is based off the camera's vision. And so if it detects that it's right over here, then it'll, it'll grab it because of how close or far it is from the inside of it. Well, 1796, really well performance, really nice robot overall. Love your arm, love your system and software that you guys are doing. Really excited to see you guys do on Hopper. You guys won your first match. Excited to see you guys continue on that, that streak. Good luck to you all and have fun. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your educational robotics needs. From mechanical, electrical, tools, and hardware, Animark has over 200 years of first team experience and offers high quality and affordable solutions for the robotics mobility and competition markets. Head on over to Animark.com to get started. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.